Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to speak again about the Mi Tent Well Red from Casson. I have the black pad. It's hard to get it at the moment, but I have ordered also the brown tones. They are available, but I have to wait four weeks now, So, but I'm so looking forward to test also then the nature brown tones. I have drawn this white clump of fur here on the black sheet of Meat and Well Red. And in this video, I uh, give you an insight, I give you an overview uh, how I liked that and how it worked to draw white fur on the black paper. So let's dive in. I try to test now here how to draw white fur on this dark, deep black meat and well wet paper, this new paper from Canson. It is um, last time I have drawn this little eye and uh, this really worked out very, very well. So let's draw now here and test a little bit of white longer fur. So let's draw some white clumps of fur. This is a white fur I have drawn in one of my past workshops. So let's sketch in with the white pastel pencil here a bit. Some so curls of fur. I just want to, to draw it here very loosely and just test to draw here how it works to, to draw with white on, on the black surface, on the black paper. I know that from the anthracite pastel mat also that it is a little bit tricky to draw with the white over the dark and in that case because that's so a deep black the black might shine through a little bit here uh, uh, when I apply the first layer for sure to cover uh, the black is with the pastel pencils sometimes a little bit tricky but you can also use soft pastel sticks to make the white more brilliant. The pit here, um, there the black is shining through a little bit. So when I blend it, yes, it is okay, but we need here more pigment. So I blend that here now with more pressure to push the pigment into the paper, I would say, and uh, to create here a first base layer. The first feeling is good. The lines are not smearing or smudging when I blend over. It is good. Then let's bring in a bit of, I would say, carpet mortum here between. I just use so randomly some nice colors for these darker shadow parts between our lighter fur clumps. And then blend over it again. I blend also over all the white base layer I have done before. So this is working really nice. Let's add a bit more, I would say, in the orange brown. We This is showing up beautifully. So they are covering the paper. That's nice. Let's test if blending with the finger also works. Sometimes I do that when they are clean. Yes, also works. Let's add a bit yellowish color too. I like to build up the base layers with more different colors and always working with a little pressure. That's also working. Here it is a bit gritty. There I go over with the paper stamp then. Yes, but there, the, the pigment, the pastel pigment sticks on the paper. That's the most important thing. That you don't remove it when you blend over. That you don't smear and smudge the lines. Let's go over then with another layer with white and let's try how brilliant we can get them without smearing and smudging. Let's make here a layer with more white. I go upwards and downwards a bit. And let's also add here a bit more white and blend it then. Blend it. Apply a bit more of the white that it is more opaque 
Yes, it is then more brilliant and right. Um, and then let's go over once more with another white layer here. I just try to make it here a bit more, let's say, brighter, more shining the white. Add a little bit more white and blend it again. It's not um, as merry or muddy feeling at all. So that's nice. And then I go over a little bit, let's say, with ivory. And add here with the ivory some lines with a lighter color on top. So when I draw the longer lines and I work with a little pressure, I have a bit of the feeling that the lines are a little bit interrupted. But here it is working again well with finer lines. And I draw here so fine teeny tiny lines into the surface, into the background. It also works with very fine little lines. Let's draw here a little bit upwards. Maybe here some crossing lines. I also go in with the black a bit or not with the black, with the dark brown. Let's bring in some fine shadow lines here between. Let's see how that is working. Darken down some areas here between the lighter hairs to bring in more contrast. This is good. It's a good feeling. Maybe also let's add here a bit of brown. I just draw here a little bit of clump of fur, not exactly the same. Just test and experiment a bit. When I then blend over here to make it soft and smooth how the paper reacts. Also I blend a bit over these lines. Maybe there is too little pigment uh, underneath when the lines become gritty. That's also happening with the pastel matte. Maybe we need here a bit more layers that the lines become really straight and fine. Let's do then another layer here with, let's go in a bit with orange brown and burnt ochre and add some more layers. I also like to use the pencils to layer over a very transparent layer here. I also want to test that to add a bit more orange pigment here and color the fur a little bit with the orangey pigment. Well, let's also go over with a flesh color. So with the beige red a bit and color some parts a little bit pinky. Or add with the beige red some fine lines and strokes. Let them cross. Here, then I go in with a sharp white and try to add some more white lines. Let's see how that is working for here, for example. Very fine, thin white lines. That's good. Very little pressure. Rotate the pencil. Let the strokes overlap and go into the background here. Maybe also here. Let them go together to a clump. Let them cross. Let's also add here. 
let them make a bow to the left. Here I draw some lines upwards. Let's blend here the transitions really a bit well. I want to make it a bit blurry and let it fade here. So into the background paper. Let's have a look how a knitted eraser works to pick up a bit of pigment. So if that is also working, yes, you can remove here a bit pigment around. That's also working. Then let's also test a bit of the craft knife. I like to scratch in some strokes with a knife from time to time. If that is working also on that paper, yes. So to scratch in fine lines it's also possible, so there are so fine lines then in there. I also don't damage the surface. This should also work. Let I blend then a little bit over again with the paper stamp gently or try to use a cotton swab. To make these lines fine and soft or use cotton swabs here for blending. Yes. It is a good feeling. Let's add some more layers. Let's do another layer with brown. Bringing some more darks here between or dark and down here. Some areas. Also here, add a bit brown here below. And then I go over with white again. Let's add some more white lines. I press a little bit more that the white pit is showing here up. But that is also the case when I work on the pastel mat. Let's cross here. Let's add here a bit of a crossing clump. There I try now to press more and overdraw the layers that I have drawn before. How that is working. That's working really well. I have to sharpen the pencil. But it looks like the paper also allows a lot of layers. So when to draw white fur on black paper is really not easy. Here the lines are showing up really nice. Let them here cross. Draw here another little clump downwards. Maybe here another line. So this is working really well. Let's also draw here a bit. Whoops! <sighs> Sometimes when you press a little bit more the pit pastel pencils break. So press a little bit more to make that brilliant white. <sighs> then I sharpen the pencil. And let's have a look. So let's add here a line to the left and some other crossing lines out of that white. And let's add here also some overlapping white little hairs. So that's working really well. When it comes here to drawing fine lines over the blank paper, it feels a little bit rough. But when you then draw over an area where you have already layers and puzzle pigment on it, it feels really good and you can create fine lines and 
You can let your hairs cross and overlap. Add here some more, so downwards. Following here the curl. Take the craft knife again. I also like Yes, that's working also really well. When there is a bit more pastel pigment on the paper, you can so scratch in fine lines, refine the fur rendering. Also here. Yes, so this is working, I would say, really similar to the pastel mat, if not better. <laughs> so I really like it. Scratch in some fine strokes, also here below. When I press it a little bit more with the knife, it, is, it removes a bit more pigment. Yes, but really nice. Let's blend it a little bit here above. Maybe go in with the brown a bit for adding some shadows here where the lines are crossing. Darker lines. Going in here carefully with the brown a bit. Or a bit with carpet mortum. Where not a lot of pigment on the paper is, there it feels rough. And where we have added some more layers, it feels really good and smooth. Let's then go in with the white again and add with very little pressure some so fine crossing lines into the background. Some loosely fine hairs. Maybe also here. So this is working really well to refine the fur rendering. Add so fine, teeny tiny little hairs with a little pressure. Press here to add some more brilliant crossing white lines. Yes, let's use the the and the pencil, the white a bit for. Blending here, make that a bit lighter. Add here some more light hairs. <sighs> yes, but um, it's really it's really a nice, great alternative to the pastel mat, and it's so nice. It's deep dark black, and. You really can draw here nice light lines over darks. Maybe use the color that a little bit, make it a bit brighter, press a little bit more. Here a bit. Let's make that clump a little bit brighter here. Yes, it's really, really nicely working also to draw a nice soft clump of white fur here on that paper. It, I must say it allows a lot of layers. Maybe it feels a little bit rough when there is not um, when there are not so many layers on the paper, but that does a rougher pastel mat version too. So swipe a bit over these little edges here and make this softer with a paper stamp. And also here I blend then over. 
and remove some little gritty lines and go over with the white once more and add some fine little lines here yes play a bit with pressure yes you can also swipe over so I blend it here a bit with the paper stamp really nice to draw that white fur on that black past, um, pastel paper me tanned well wet from Canson so really a great new paper I must say Okay, so I really enjoyed drawing on the black meat and well wet and draw white brilliant fur on the black back background paper. If you have any questions, pop them below in the comments. I'm happy to answer. Also share your experience. Have you already bought it? Uh, what is your drawing experience? I'm curious to hear about that. And if you would like to draw animal portraits with pastels, we celebrate the three-year anniversary of Animal Art Club in October and there will be a, a special workshop and there will be a way label special bonuses. Sign up to the waitlist to be informed about that soon. Okay then, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope I see you in the next video. Enjoy drawing! Bye!